In this movie, we're going to use the conditional statement, the if-then, using dates. This is a report I quickly threw together by joining the revenue transaction table to the customer table. We've done this in prior lessons, so if you want to follow along, go ahead and go through the report wizard process and pull this up. The fields I chose were ID, revenue amount, client number, site, and revenue date. We're going to go ahead and view our field explorer. From here we're going to create some new formula fields. We're going to call it if then date sample. Now when I say date I also mean date and time and any variation of date thereof. We know our basic if then statement always begins thusly if and then we insert the field by either double clicking or dragging the field down to our formula workshop. In this case you can choose any date and you can use equal to, greater than, between, so on and so forth. In this case, we'll say greater than or equal to I want to make it January 1st, 2005. Notice the date format. This is how I manually express 1-1-2005. Unlike other programs, you have to put it in this way so Crystal can read the date properly. And this is the condition I'm putting it on. Now when you finish an if-then statement, usually you want to put an exception to the rule or another case. So for example, if this was my only case and I defined anything past January 1st, 2005 as current, I call everything else old news. As long as my string is in quotes, the spaces and dots don't have any effect. It's always a good practice to put some kind of exception case. Sometimes you create a nice long if-then statement, but sometimes you forget to add a case. If you don't put anything, it shows up blank. That could affect your grouping or your report and not accomplish what you mean it to. Notice this is how I'm working with dates. I could also put other formulas in here, but we'll get to that in a second. Always check your work. If you find no errors, press OK and save and close. From here, we're going to go ahead and drag in the if then date sample formula. I'm going to drag it into the details section next to the rest of the detail. Now, according to my dates, I'm looking pretty good. This date's from 2002, and according to my if then formula, it is old news. Now, let's try something else with these. Now, we've already worked with date formulas before where we've calculated different things. You can also do that here. We can edit the formula directly, and instead of saying is greater than or equal to, we could say if this revenue date minus the current date, and I'll go ahead and delete the manual one I stuck in there, less than or equal to 180, then call it current and then old news. You could also replace current with a number value. In this case, I'm going to stick in a formula. This time, I'm going to take the revenue amount times 0.15 to represent a commission. Otherwise, I'm going to take the revenue amount again times 0.1. This is representing the fictional commissions that my salespeople will get if the difference between the revenue date and the current date is greater than or equal to 180. Go ahead and check your formula. Make sure no errors are found. Good habit to get into. Press save and close. So then the question is, there's my revenue amount and there are these amounts. Now of course you need to verify if you wanted to be very thorough and actually put in a field, an if-then statement that calculates that difference between the revenue date minus the current date. These are just samples of what you can do. I'm counting on you to experiment a little bit and use these formulas to help you out in your specific case.